hello and welcome in this tutorial I'm going to show you top-down movement so first of all I am going to make three layers so first layer is going to be uh, ground second layer is going to be feet and third layer is going to be torso or the body whatever it is so if you're using free version you can have up to four layers so you should be fine by this uh, so first of all I'm going to insert a uh, ground so I just insert a tile map or rather a tile background so I just I just take a picture of a ground Or this floor, floor will be good. But uh, these are all the sprites that are available free in the internet. Uh, so these are all. Uh, so you can uh, download these things from the internet. I just use this one. Just make sure the size matches up. So the layout size. I just copy here I will just paste it and I'll just make sure the well I just have to place it over position zero comma zero yeah that's it so now I'm going to log this ground layer now I will work on the feet layer so in the feet layer what I'm going to do is that I'm going to add a feet so that's a feet and I'm going to crop it and I'm just going to check that the collision is a uh, bounding box it is not in the bounding box so i'm going to write uh, just right click and click uh, set to bounding box so this is going to be animation uh, idle animation or rather I, I actually give all caps so there it depends upon you that is the convention which i use for the animations so it depends upon you I'm going to add another animation and it is going to be for run so for the run animation I'm going to right click and uh, import frame from file I have over here this run I'm going to uh, press ctrl a to select all the stuffs and open I'm going to delete this one the first frame I'm going to hold shift and then click this crop so it is the cropping is applied to the whole uh, to the whole animation and just recheck that uh, the origin is at the center and as well as for the idle the origin is at the center and just recheck all right all right i think we're done So this is it. Now I'm going to add uh, behavior. First behavior is going to be uh, scroll to behavior. Next behavior is going to be a directional behavior. And and just let me check uh, the properties. And then I do not get any acceleration or deceleration, so just to bump it up to uh, a grid in a, a large value, so just 6000 per board. And uh, let's run it, let's test it. In the project, 
uh, my browser I usually keep it to nw.js because that's what I use uh, because I target my games to well desktop and as well as uh, the HTML5 but uh, for preview purposes I usually use nw.js you can use any other browser if you have Chrome or Firefox will work fine alright so the add direction is working the scroll to is working that's fine now we need to give a uh, animation to this uh, feed right so let's go to event sheet and but right, I forgot to rename the stuff so I just rename player feed so in the event sheet feet when the feet is moving player feet set animation to run and I'll just copy and paste it I'll just push the I button of my keyboard to make it inverted so when the end direction is not moving so that means when the feet is not moving set the uh, animation to hide it. that's it also I need to change the speed of this animation of run this 5 speed is really low or really slow so I'll just give it 50 you have to test it around uh, I just saw that 50 is work uh, well with this uh, sprite I have got so if you have different sprites you have to test uh, to see which speed actually uh, suits you the best so yeah I think we are good to go let's test it out yeah I think it's working good so now it's time for the torso torso is just the body part so uh, yeah, the sprite sheet actually uh, the sprites I've got I've got the feet and the torso in separately but uh, I've also seen in the internet that uh, the top down that player it's a uh, it is all at the feet and the it's a single sprite feet and the torso is uh, in a single sprite so you can use those if you want I just thought uh, this works uh, better when the torso and feet are uh, separated I just thought it works much better so for the torso I'll just create another sprite and uh, so I just use this uh, knife one knife one looks good so this is the ideal animation okay I I'll just take it from the animation part right so this is going to be ideal and I'm going to import frame from sprite strip Oh, sorry from files going to then control a delete the first frame press shift and crop recheck the collision is a bounding box recheck that the origin is at the center all right we're done now another animation for the run again import frame from file control a delete the first frame shift crop recheck the collision recheck the origin that's it we are ready to go oh I'm sorry I think uh, I just imported the feet I'm extremely sorry so just delete all the stuff import from files extremely sorry ah. all right so you have got this knife idle yeah, this is what you want so shift crop reject the bounding box reject the origin then for the run, delete all the stuff. I 
delete the idle I forgot no okay I just thought that I forgot to delete the first frame so import frame Oops. import frame from files move okay and control a then delete the first frame shift shift and crop I just stopped the shift went through it did not went through everything okay. all right reject the bounding box reject the origin done now what we are going to do is that we are going to give a behavior of pin to this uh, torso and we are going to position this exactly on the position of the feet so I just copy the position of feet and you are going to position it over here all right so now at the start of the layout I'm going to pin this uh, sprite I haven't for I have forgotten to rename this all right so let me rename it first otherwise it will it might confuse you so this is clear torso right so the start of the layout clear torso pin to object clear feet position and angle done yeah we are good to go but the thing is that when the player is moving we should also need to change the animation of the torso so just copy and paste it so player torso set animation to run again copy paste Clear tor torso set animation to idle. I think we are good to go. Yeah, it's it's really working good. It's working nicely. Only thing is that I'm going to zoom out a little. Uh, Alright, let me see. This uh, window size is a bit too less for my liking. I'm just going to increase it a little bit uh, let me see how it works Hmm. What is the previous one? 854, right? I'm just going to make it uh, double the size. So, double the size, it becomes uh, 
I think uh, the scroll tool is not working because it is actually taking the whole window size. I sorry, the whole layout size. So probably I'm just going to increase the layout size a little bit. I can just increase it to anything I want and I am going to set the size of the ground to the size of the layout so layout copy ground size paste Lock it. Yeah, it's working nice. Probably I'm just going to increase the speed a little of player feet. I'm going to lock the torso. Max width is 200. I'm going to make it say 450. Yeah, it looks nice. Also, the animation of the torso is slow, so I'm going to change it up. So the idle animation, I'm going to make it uh, 25 for the run. Let's try it to 25. You may just need to play around with it a little bit to make sure it's perfect. Alright, so it looks nice. I'm gonna play around with the animation speed a little bit, but yeah, it looks nice. So that's it for this video. Please like, comment, and subscribe. See you in my next tutorial. Thank you.